Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. Disrespect does not deserve respect. They're about to get a whole nother side of you, respectfully. Let's get right into it. There have been people who thought that they can treat you any kind of way that they want. And for the most part, you just wanted to avoid the issue. You wanted to avoid problems. You know, you wanted to let things go. And that's commendable. That's, that's very commendable to be the type of person that will let things go. To be the type of person that doesn't want any problems at all. All right. That's very commendable. That shows that you have good character. That's a great thing. Shows you have good character. Shows that you're uh, choosing the high road. All right. You uh, you got a good moral compass. It shows that you want it shows you want to you want to do the right thing. That's you. You're the type of person that wants to do the right thing. Those are all amazing qualities to have. All right. Th those are all amazing qualities to have. All right. You're the type of person that you live and let live. You don't bother folks. You leave people alone. You know, you go your way. Let other people go their way. That, that says a lot about you. It says a lot about your character. It says that you it says that you really do uh, not only put you put yourself first and that's a major part of it. You put yourself first. You stay out the way. You 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 you're uh, not problematic. All right. It says a lot about you. You put yourself first, which allows you to put other people first. You put yourself first in the way that allows you to put other people first. You know what? Let me just stay to myself, stay out the way. I'm not bothering anybody. I should be okay. But the thing about that is, you know, when, when you choose peace and you choose to be a peaceful person, choose to not bother anybody, choose to leave people alone, choose to go your own way and go your separate way and live and let live and you know you see everybody as as a good person until you know you find out otherwise but the, the thing about that is people will unfortunately view that as a weakness you stay away from people who you see are toxic and problematic now unfortunately they may start seeking you out you want to avoid problems and avoid issues and, you know, not have any, pro not have any uh, negative, toxic situations. Unfortunately, instead of people viewing that as the smart thing, instead of some people viewing that as an intelligent thing, a productive thing, a positive thing, there are going to be some individuals who think now that they can make you out to be an easy target. There are going to be people who think that they can just r rain on you. There are going to be people who think that they can just come into your life and try to control you and try to act any way they want, unfortunately, because we have to realize, all right, no matter how peaceful we want to be, no matter how much of a good person we want to be, all right, that not everybody is like that. And not everybody respects that, unfortunately. In a perfect world, everybody would respect your, your, your uh, journey for peace. You're, you're, you're pushing P. You're pushing peace, all right? Not every, yo, you're pu we pushing peace. We pushing peace. There are some unsavory characters out there, some knuckleheads, all right? Some people that are, are less than good, unfortunately, that, that choose not to subscribe to peace. All right. They choose not to subscribe to peace. They choose not to subscribe to uh, being the type of person that just lets people go their own way. There are some people who feel they need to try to pick on other people. There's some people who may feel they need to try to bully somebody. There's some people who feel they need to try to, you know, let their let their presence be known to you. The peaceful one, the person that's not, could you, can you believe that? The person that's not bothering anyone, the person that's staying to themselves, 
All right. They, they want to try to bring that negative trash your way. Hey, take my trash out. Excuse me. But the thing about that is, the thing about that is, what they fail to realize is that the people who choose to stay to themselves, the people who choose to, yeah, I don't want no trouble, the people that don't want to be bothered, all right, they, they got a lot, they got a lot going on, all right, they got a lot going on up here, and they're, just, they're trying their best, they, you know, they are trying their best to keep it to themselves, you know? All right, they're trying to keep it to themselves. The best kind of people are the people that know when they, they got something going on, you know, they got some things they need to work on. Those are the best kinds of people, the people who know that they got some things that they need fixing, some some things that they need to work out. All right, they, they're trying to work it out. All right, there's some people that go to the gym and huh, 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 they work their body out. You know, that's great, amazing. I commend you, chest, legs, uh, lats, uh, uh uh, Trent, what's it called? Uh, something decimal Dorsey or whatever it's called. All right. Um, I can't get it all y'all. Um, but you know, there's some people that they go to the gym, they work that body out as you should, but then there are some people, right? They're, they're, they are the, the quiet ones. All right. The stay to themselves ones. All right. The, the very chill, relaxed ones. All right. They are in the gym of the mind. All right. That they, they are in the mental gym. All right. Some, sometimes, sometimes people go through things. All right. Sometimes people got things going on in life. All right. And, yo, they are in that they in that mental gym 24 seven, just, you know, working things out, processing things out. Maybe they got some life situation going on. Maybe they got some family situation going on. Maybe they got some job situation going on. Talk to me. All right. Maybe they have some financial situation going on. All right. Maybe maybe they got a, a personal a self situation. Maybe it's something with they self. Maybe they got something going on with self and they're trying to work that thing out and they're trying to make sure they can get their mind right. They're trying to make sure their mind is right. All right. And, and they, they don't, they don't want to take that out on anybody. They really don't. They don't want to get mean and abrupt and irate and, and toxic and, and, uh, and, and verbal assaultive and all these. No, they don't want to do those kinds of things. All right. So what they do is they just they yo, you know what? I'm I, I got a little meanness in me. I got a little nastiness in me. I got a little ratchet in me. I got me a little toxic, a little negative in me. You know what? I'm going I'm going to stay to myself and I'm going I'm going to work that thing out. All right. I'm on a journey for, towards peace. All right. I'm on a healing journey. I'm going to work that thing out. All right. It's just me, God, my, my good, my my ancestors, my ascended masters, my angels. All right, my good positive energy. As much as I could keep it, I'm trying to keep it that way. And you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to to keep whatever is wrong to myself, and I'm gonna work that thing out and and be the best positive, most polite person that I could be. You know, and but unfortunately. All right, people, people outside looking in, they don't understand all that. They just, they just see you just, you know, as somebody that's quiet. They see you as somebody that just, you know, look like they don't want to be bothered, which are very true things, you know, very, very true things. But you just want to, you just want to keep that thing to yourself for a little bit. You know, you see people, you like interaction, you like people, you, 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 you uh, have love for people. All right. Go around probably blessing people when you see them. All right telling them in your mind, God bless you and all these things, you know, but sometimes you just want to keep it to yourself and you just want to work on yourself and just heal, you know, but there are, you know, there are the ones, all right, that, that like the people we talked about in the beginning of the video, there are those ones who don't understand that and they, you know, they take that, that you know, very, uh, un very unwise thing to do. Your very unwise thing to do. It's not wise. They take that as a sign. That that is that is a sign that this person is easy. This person won't. This person won't say anything to me. This this, this person will. This this person is not a challenge. This is, I, I I can mess with this person instead of doing all the things this person is doing in their mind, in my life, in my mind, in my head. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out on this person. Very unwise thing to do. All right. There are some people who didn't grow past 12th grade. 
if they even made it to 12th grade. There's just some folks that did not grow past that, that grade level mentally, spiritually. They didn't grow past that. You know, they just, they just, they just stayed there. They said, you know what? I like this. I'm staying right here. They could go back to school. They probably would. But the thing about that is they're making a huge, you know, they're making a huge mistake. They're making a huge mistake. All right. They're making a huge mistake. Just saw a video the other day with some inmates, with some, 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 uh, some, some brothers in jail. All right. Just saw a video with some brothers that was locked up. All right. Some, some locked up individuals. All right. All right. And I'm not sure what they in there for. I don't know. So I'm not judging them. But the one thing I noticed, the one person that was doing all the rah, rah, this and the rah, rah, that and throwing the hands and showing the tough vote, the bravado, 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 extra bravado, extra bravado on mine, please. You got it. The he said, yo, the, and it was somebody, it was somebody, um, it was it was some whatever whatever they were call that word. It was somebody. Uh, I had the words on the tip of my tongue. It was somebody explaining the video. I know there's a word for it. Somebody put it in the comment section down. Commentating. There we go. Beat you to it. Look at God. There was somebody commentating the video. He said, "Yo, my man over there doing all the tough guy talk. That ain't the one you got to work out for." He said, "The ones over there, real quiet, doing the arts and crafts. Them the real." illers right there those are the real illers right there okay and the thing is when you stay to yourself it's because you got a lot going on and you just don't you just don't have time for much you do you do not have much mental space for too much and don't you have some god in your life on top of that all right don't 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 you have don't you have the power and strength of the lord on top of that Ooh. Don't you, yo, don't, don't you, don't you, you better do it, but they better not do it. That's who better not do it. When I say don't you do it, I don't mean you. I'm talking about them. Don't, don't you do it. All right. Don't, don't you mess with no people. They all, all you, all they do is just deal with God. They stay to themselves and they don't want no problems. That's the last person you should probably want to test. All right. But there are some people who feel the need and try to see certain folks, the peaceful, polite ones as an easy target. Years ago, I went to go get my uh, my computer fixed, and this this the gentleman, the computer guy, was calling me a a, a a bad person. wasn't saying that I was a bad person, but he was like, "You're polite, uh, you're nice, you you those people are like mafia bosses, and this, that, and the other." I'm like, I, I didn't even know what he was talking about at the time, and I'm 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 not even associating myself with that. He's like, "That's that's how people act in the mob," like, and I'm like, uh. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm just I'm just here to get my laptop fixed so I can go back and make some some beats and stuff. Uh, I didn't I had no idea what this man was talking about, you know, and I, I got I grasped some understanding on my my travel back to my place at the time. I'm like, oh, OK, I, I, I get it. Uh, whatever. You know, I really didn't 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 make nothing out of it. You know, I just just want to be myself, you know, and. But the thing is, that holds true. That holds true. People that are polite, people that don't want no trouble, people that just want to stay to themselves, you, you, it's, it's very wise, very wise to leave those people alone. Because if you bother them, if you try to mess with them, they're going to end up telling you about yourself. They're going to end, they're going to end up revealing some things to you that you didn't, that you, you didn't think you would see. You didn't, you didn't think you wouldn't, you didn't think you would see that side of that person, but it, it's there. Okay. And the reason why they're not dealing with too much or trying to put too much on their plate or is because they're probably going through something and they're just trying to be left alone and sort it out. But, you know, and we, but the thing, the thing about that is, and the thing I had to realize is this, we don't live in a, we, we, in, you know, unless you got a, a Shaolin monk outfit on, all right, and you out in the mountains somewhere with some monkeys and some other and some people with some ball heads and some 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 orange cloth wrapped around them, all right, you not living in a monastery. And the thing about being a peaceful person is we don't live in no monastery. We don't. All right, we, 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 this is this is real life. This is real life. We live in real life. We're not living in a monastery unless that's where you at. Shout out to you. All right. Home. That's what's up. All right. Home. That's what's up. All right. If that, if that's where you at. That's what that's where you at with life right now. If that's what you're doing, more power to you. All right. But just because you choose peace 
just because you choose to pray and you got the Lord in your life and God and all these amazing things that you're, you're doing for yourself and you're turning your life around and you're working on yourself, you're working on your mind, the whole entire world ain't like that. Reality is that there are going to be other people that could give a crap less about what you're doing to yourself, for yourself, uh, uh, you know, and self-improvement, all these things. There are some knuckleheads out there that just ain't with that. They just ain't about that. And the thing is, sometimes you may have to not you 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 may have to have another side of you. All right, They're just just chilling in the cut. All right, you you got you got your your light side and you got you got your dark side. All right, sometimes that dark side just got to be chilling in the cut, just ready and willing and and just you know just just on 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 chill mode. All right, because and and not not to say you got to be like you know, not to say that you got to like be like super darker you know just you have to it just has to you have to have that side of you that will allow you to stand up for yourself and speak up for yourself all right you have to um because we don't live we don't live in a perfect world where people will work things out we don't live in a perfect world where you know everybody can uh we just be peaceful and things like that sometimes i mean you will still have to stay peaceful but that all I'm saying is in terms of courage, you have to have a side of you that's courageous. You have to have a side of you that's willing to stand up for yourself. And that's it. All right. We're not we're not talking about going uh, Bruce Lee on anybody. We're talking about you have to have that side of you that can stand up for yourself, speak up for yourself and be able to handle situations, be able to handle conflict, be able to handle confrontation. All right. Be able to uh, deal with people kind of thing. All right, because no matter how peaceful you are and how peaceful you want to be and how good of a person you choose to be, there's always going to be situations where, you know, you have to you have, you just have to be the type of person that can handle any situation that comes into your life. That's all. You got to be the type of person that can handle any situation that comes into your life. And you know, and that peace will come into play. That 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 peace, that good person that you are, that'll help you out because it'll, it'll it, if you choose that, you'll be able to deal with situations to where you can keep the situation peaceful. It may not be a peaceful person, but the thing is, just because the person isn't peaceful doesn't mean that you should have any fear or you should be afraid of them or anything like that. Like you should be able to just because someone is the opposite of you, don't fear them. Just because somebody is not the same way that you are doesn't mean you can't stand up for yourself. Doesn't mean you should um, you should not be able to handle the situation. You could talk to anybody, all right. And you should you should be able to be you should be able to talk to anybody. You should be able to handle any situation, all right, without having any fear or anything like that, or not being afraid or being stuck in like a freeze response, all right. There are some people in some situations to where when conflict happens, unfortunately due to their upbringing and things like that, they're stuck. They don't say anything. They, they don't, they don't like know how to handle these situations. You are able to handle these situations. You can come out of being that type of person. And it all just comes with having that other side of you and knowing when to use it. And it's not like you're using it in a negative way. You're just standing firm. You're standing up for yourself and you're speaking up for yourself. You, you have courage, you have strength, and you have to have a side of you and see a side of you that is a strong person. You got to see yourself as a strong person. If you're someone that may have been stuck in a freeze response, if you're someone who didn't really stand up for themselves like that, if you're someone who had problems standing up for themselves like that, that's okay. It's nothing wrong with you, all right? I'm here to tell you it's nothing wrong with you, but we don't live in a monastery. There's not just just peaceful people walking around quiet and with their hands together and everybody staying out each other's way and people leaving each other alone. And, you know, we don't live in a world like that. We live in a world to where you're going to have to be a strong person. We live in a world to where you're going to have to be a tough person. And we're not talking about being strong outwardly. We're not talking about being tough physically or outwardly. This is all internal stuff. So that way you could deal with the situation in a logical way and not in an emotional way to where, you know, you get out of character or you lose control of how you feel about the situation or you end up acting out in a way to where 
is now you might get in trouble or you may end up getting into uh, something, something into a problem that you didn't even need to get into by either saying something, you know, someone says something to you and now you want to say something back. You don't have to handle situations like that. And tough minded individuals and strong minded individuals, they don't handle situations like that. When somebody may come at you like you don't have to get like that back with them. And you can you don't and you can still be strong. You can still have your courage and you can still not be afraid and fear them all in the same light. You talk to them, you calmly handle the situation and you use your mind to get out the situation. All right. This person is a little irate. This person is out of control. This person is not acting and this this person is acting aggressive. You know, this person is coming at me in an aggressive way. Oh, no. What do I do? You talk to this person just like you talk to anybody else. That aggression is usually a facade. This person is usually, I mean, like this person most likely is trying to do this to you because they feel that they can get it over on you. You're not going to see them doing this to somebody five times your size. You're not going to see this doing doing this. You're not going to see them doing this to someone that would get like that back with them. All right. This person is usually going to try people who are just chill, who are relaxed who are just calm, you know, don't want any trouble, don't want any problems, but you can still stay a chill, relaxed, calm person that don't want no problems. All right. You just have to be a strong minded individual. So that way, when these, when these situations come up, you can handle them. All right. That way, when these, these problems come up, you can face them. All right. And you are someone with, you with the power of God in you, you can be strong with the power of God in you. You can handle any situation. All right. God will give you the strength to be strong. All right. God will give you the the power to handle any kind of situation that you need to. And once you realize that, once you come across that, be like, yo, God gives me the strength to handle any and all situations. All right. Because, you know, everybody grows up different. All right. There are some people who have went to school and coming home from school, they saw people fighting every day and they like had to, you know, they had a real adverse environment. They had a real hardcore environment. You know, it's people that get out of school and, you know, they fighting five people just to get home every day. There's people who live that life. And then there's people who walk home from school and all they see is the trees and some some birds and some some uh, animals, a little squirrel here, a little bunny here, a little rabbit, you know. And, you know, there's people that just they walk home and they really don't have no problems like that. All right. And depending on who you are and depending on where you grew up, you may have a certain idea about yourself and you may have developed a certain a certain thought about yourself. All right, due to the culture and due to everything, how things are today. If you if you're not from here, you ain't this. If you ain't grow up this way, you ain't that. Unfortunately, that's just the way things are and that's just how some people are shaped and but the thing is just because you didn't have to grow up in one of those environments or you're not one of those kinds of people, it's okay. You don't have to act like that. You don't got to pretend. There's people out here pretending to be hard right now and they're not. There's people out here pretending to be tough and they ain't. The the, the stronger you are, the more you can be yourself and be comfortable with that, the stronger you are. But you do have to keep it real with your strong points and you do have to keep it real with your weak points. But the thing is with the, with, with, uh, with, um, the grace of God, you'll be strong all right with the power of with, with the power of God with the help of God you will be strong and you won't be weak so if you have developed a uh, 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 if you have developed the idea about yourself that's less than strong that's less than good that's that's not as positive if, if you have an idea about yourself because of certain circumstances or certain things that's pushed out in the world or certain certain the, just the way life is just the way things are, if you have developed, unfortunately, a negative idea about yourself, you could fix that. All right. If, if you have uh, not seen yourself in the, the most positive light, you could fix that. All right. You All you got to do is see yourself as the person that you want to be. See yourself as a strong person. Don't see yourself as a weak person. All right. Don't see yourself as uh, somebody that's not strong. If you if you aren't strong, and you know you may be weak or something like that, just admit it to yourself. All right, if you have been anything less than uh, that you'd want to be, just admit it to yourself. And that's it takes strength to admit to yourself the type of person that you are and to be able to keep it real. All right, you don't have to be out here 
you know, getting into things. You don't have to be out here proving yourself or nothing like that. But the one thing you have to do is mentally develop yourself. So that way, when things happen, when people may try to come at you a certain way, you'll be able to deal with it. They and you, yo, you then and, and yo, boom, pow, surprise. Yo, you can be the type of person that you want to be, and it'll throw people off. You don't have to put on no act. You don't have to put on no show. You don't have to try to make people think that you're something that you're not. There's some people out here walking around trying to like, you know, trying to act like they tough or something like that, trying to prove things to people. And you don't have to do that. You like, there's nothing that you have to prove to anybody. You can, you can be yourself and still be somebody that can, can uh, handle themselves in any kind of situation. All right. And that's what I'm here to tell you today. With, with the help of God, you can become a strong person with the help of God. You can become a tough person, but the thing is, it's not outward toughness. Even outward toughness only comes from in here. Outward toughness only comes from your mental strength. You have to develop what's called mental strength. So that way you could be mentally tough. So that way when things happen in real life, when things happen in real time, you'll be able to face it. You won't be scared. You won't be, <clears throat> excuse me, you won't be stuck in no freeze response. You won't just be standing there not saying anything or not doing anything or not being able to, you know, not being able to move or operate. You won't be stuck in what they call freeze mode. There are certain people due to certain situations that they grew up in. Maybe somebody was like verbally abusive to you and you were like real real young or something like that, or maybe somebody uh, dealt with you the wrong way and you may have never learned how to come out of that. You may have never learned how to deal with that, never learned how to fix that. And that's okay. That's cool. But I'm here to tell you today that if that happened to you, if you're one of those kinds of people, maybe you're not, maybe you are, maybe that did happen to you. Maybe it didn't. All right. But you don't have to stay that way. You don't have to stay that way. You don't have to be the most, uh, you don't got to be the, the, the most hardest person out here. You don't have to, all right? You don't got to be the most hardest person out here. You can be yourself and still be the type of person that could, that is mentally hard, all right? It's not about outwardly trying to prove and show people this and that. It's about being keeping that on mental reserve. It's about keeping that in your, your it's about keeping that in the cut. Just keeping it on chill. Just put keep like a like an age dried steak. Just keeping it on chill. It's about saving that for when it's needed, saving that for when you need to handle yourself, saving that for when you need to handle a situation. And the thing about being a positive person is you're smart and you can get out of situations. All right. You can get out of situations. You can avoid problems. You can avoid getting into trouble. You can avoid getting into things that you don't need to get into and still keep your self-respect and still have people respect you. Because the thing is, it, it, it will it'll show that, you know, It'll show that you're just not the type of person that should be messed with. People people should think twice before trying you or trying to, you know, bully you or pick on you or anything like that. It'll definitely show that without you even have to exert yourself. All right. Because you don't want to have to exert any any energy. You don't want to have to waste any energy when it's uncalled for. God forbid, you know, uh, the, the, the thing you want to do is you want to stay out of situations like that. You don't you don't want problems. You don't want situations like that. You want to be able to just chill and enjoy your life. All right. You want to be able to enjoy the finer things in life. You want to be able to keep your peace. You want to be able to enjoy some money. You want to be able to enjoy a nice new car. You want to be able to go live your dreams. All right. People will talk stuff like that and they really aren't really, you know, that's really not who they are. So you don't want to be that. You want to you want to be comfortable being yourself, all right? And if people can't respect you for you being you, then they don't need to be around you anyway. If people don't appreciate you for the type of person that you are, they don't need to be around you anyway. You 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 are you got to be totally 100% comfortable being yourself and 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 who you are and if there's something that you need to change, the you know the beauty of the brain is, the beauty of God is, you can change it. And you you could be you can become who you want to become. All you got to do is see yourself as that person. All right. All you have to do is accept the idea of who you want to be when it comes down to anything, a rich person, a successful person, a wise person, a person that is able to handle situations, a person that can stand up for themselves, speak up for themselves. That's you. All right. Start seeing yourself as that. Start, you know, uh, seeing yourself as that in your mind. Start speaking that to that. Start speaking that into your reality and 
certain, you know, like dealing with like gang stalkers and energy vampires and things like that, you'll be able to handle them a whole lot better. You'll be able to look at these situations, not from an anger point of view, because like the, a lot of the anger, if you if you get angry from these situations, it comes from you not standing up for yourself. You're not saying things when you need to say it. You not handling a situation the right way when it needs to be handled. All right. And I know you may want to avoid trouble. I know you may want to not deal with confrontation and things like that, but that's life. Sometimes there are things that you have to deal with. And when you stand up to people, when you speak up for yourself, people are less likely to keep trying you and they're less likely to keep bothering you. So sometimes you got to tell people like it is and you have to tell them about themselves. But the thing about being a positive person is, you know, you can still do it in a way to where you can keep your cool. And the more you can keep your cool, the more you can stay calm is the more you'll be able to think through the situation and you'll be able to handle it better than somebody that's acting out of character and, you know, getting all emotional and stuff like that. You'll be able to you'll be able to deal with the situation a whole lot easier and a whole lot better. All right. Now, probably if they, the more calm you stay, the less likely like the, the when people stay calm in situations like that, people get scared of. them. All right. So the, the more somebody may be getting like that it might be because you know they got like a little just probably because you're scaring them all right so always just you know keep an eye on things don't let anybody don't let it get out of hand that's all i'm saying all right this is this is just some positive information i'm not you know this is just some positive information for you you could do what you want with it all right so this is just how i handle certain things and how I deal with like these individuals. This is how I'm dealing with them now. All right. So I hope this video, you know, if it helps somebody cool, if it's just something for you to watch, that's cool too. But yo, I, I'd like to thank you for, you know, watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, love and light. We out.